you have probably seen this familiar sight, and you may have spent many hours inside a gen, but have you ever seen what's happening to the cotton inside of the machines? We will show you the cotton eye view of gen machinery, but first let's identify the basic machinery in typical gens as you normally see them. Cotton is removed from modules with a module feeder and passes through a bowl trap to the automatic feed control, which regulates the flow through the system. From here, the seed cotton is picked up with heated air and carried through the first stage of drying and into a cylinder cleaner, which removes foreign matter from the cotton, breaks up wads, and separates the cotton. The cotton then falls into the stick machine, which removes burrs and sticks. After the stick machine, cotton is again picked up with heated air, carried through a second dryer and into another cylinder cleaner. From the seed cotton cleaners, the cotton drops into the conveyor distributor, passes through the feeder, and into the gin stand, where cotton is ginned. This is where the lint and seed are separated. Two very different types of gins are used. Saw-type gins are used on the dominant upland cottons, while roller gins are used for the extra-long staple Pima cotton. In each case, the seed fall out the bottom of the gin stand and are transported to storage. The lint is taken from the gin stand to the lint cleaners. Most saw gins use two stages of saw-type lint cleaners, and many also use air jet cleaners. Roller gins use much gentler lint cleaning systems, consisting of conventional seed cotton cleaners and textile mill types of cleaning equipment. From the lint cleaners, the fiber proceeds to the battery condenser, down the lint slide, and to the press. Now let's go back and look inside each of these machines. We will follow the cotton through the microgen at the U.S. Cotton Ginning Research Laboratory at Stoneville, Mississippi. These glass-sided machines are commercial saw gin machines, which have been reduced in width for conducting controlled experiments. The seed cotton is unloaded from the module and passed through the first stage of drying to reduce the lint moisture. Notice that the cotton moves horizontally from one side of the dryer to the other as it makes its way from the top to the bottom. This path keeps the cotton exposed to the drying air long enough for moisture to migrate out of the lint and into the air. Because seed cotton is only exposed to drying air for a few seconds, most of the moisture comes out of the lint. Very little moisture is removed from the seed in gen dryers. The seed cotton then passes into the first cylinder cleaner, where it is dropped onto the revolving spike cylinders. Wads are broken and cotton is fluffed as it moves across the top of cylinders to the end where flow reverses. As the spikes whip the cotton over the grid rods in the bottom, primarily small leaf particles, falls out between the rods. The cotton is discharged into the stick machine. It passes over the first cleaning saw where the clean cotton goes directly to the next machine. Burrs and sticks, along with as much as a quarter of the cotton, is slung off over cleaning rods into the reclaimer section. The reclaimer saws and rods are similar to the main cleaning unit, but their adjustment is different to minimize the cotton discarded with the trash. The stick machine is designed to remove burrs and pieces of the cotton plant one to three inches long. Gins which process stripper harvested cotton are usually equipped with at least two stages of stick extractors, and many gins have three stages. From the stick machine, the cotton passes to the second dryer, where moisture is removed from the lint to the 6 to 7 percent range, and into the second stage of seed cotton cleaning. Some gins have an optional impact cleaner, which uses rotating serrated saws instead of grid rods to sift out more fine trash. From seed cotton cleaning, the cotton moves to the conveyor distributor, which carries cotton to the extractor feeder over each gin stand. Notice that the saw gin extractor feeder is designed similar to seed cotton cleaners. Designs vary, but most feeders include stick machine principles. They are effective cleaners because cotton has been fully dried and open when it gets to that point. But their main purpose is to meter a uniform flow of cotton across the width of the gin stand. 
The gin stand is the heart of the system, the machine that actually separates the seed from the lint. On traditional saw gin stands, seed cotton entered the roll box through the huller front, the final stage of seed cotton cleaning. On these gins, the seed cotton is plucked between huller ribs into the roll box. Recent super high capacity gin stands do not have huller fronts. To accomplish the actual separation of the lint from the seed, the gin saws which run between the ginning ribs catch the fibers and pull them between the ribs, which are spaced too close for the seeds to pass. High speed photographs show that the fiber is pulled from the seeds in tufts, and only part of the saws are loaded with fiber. When the seeds are cleaned, they slide down the face of the rib, fall out the bottom, and are transported to storage outside the gin building. The fibers are doffed from the back of the saw with a brush or a blast of air and are taken to the first lint cleaner. Some gins use air jet cleaners, which remove larger trash from the lint while causing very little quality damage. The saw type lint cleaner is by far the most effective cleaner in a gin. Inside the saw lint cleaner, the condenser separates lint from the conveying airstream and forms a uniform bat. The feed rolls and feed plate apply the fiber to the lint cleaning saw, which runs very close to the grid bars. The fibers are carried under the grid bars between the sharp teeth of the spiral wound saws. The trash, being heavier than the fibers, is slung away from the saw by centrifugal force. The trash strikes the sharp edge of the grid bar, breaks away from the fiber, and is discharged into a low velocity airstream. The lint is doffed from the back of the saw with a brush and is, if needed, taken to a second stage of lint cleaning identical to the first. In roller gins, the drying and seed cotton cleaning systems are similar to saw ginning, but the gin stand and the lint cleaning are quite different. Roller gin stands separate lint from seed by using the frictional forces between a moving roller and a stationary knife. Cotton is ginned as fibers adhere to the roller surface, slip under the stationary knife, which holds the seed. Each stroke of the rotary knife clears the stationary knife edge of the accumulated seed cotton and gin seed. Partially ginned seed are either pulled back to the stationary knife and completely ginned, or swept along with the seed in carryover and reclaimed later in the process. Lint cleaning and roller gins are different from saw gins. They are much gentler, doing very little to no degradation in fiber quality. When ginning and cleaning is finished, the cotton proceeds through the lint flue to the battery condenser, which removes the fiber from the airstream and forms it into a bat that falls down the lint slide into the press charging box. The tramper packs the lint until the bale is finished. Then the press is rotated and the larger hydraulic ram compresses the bale and holds it while strapping materials are applied. When the bale is finished, it is removed from the press and it is ready to be made into high quality, comfortable clothing and textile products. A cotton gin is a combination of several individual machines which dry, clean, gin, and compress cotton. Ginning can have major impact on the value of a producer's crop as well as the spinning characteristics of the fiber. It's critical that gins be equipped, managed, and operated to preserve the natural quality of the cotton fiber.